A little duck hunting here now. I'll show you how it's done here. You just grab him by the head and give him a good twist like that there. That's all. <laughs> we had to make a run into St. John's. You know, it was a, it was a long drive from Goose Bay, but uh, back now, and the first thing I done when I got back was uh, to reset my rabbit snares. So I wanted to get a few more because I got my surgery coming up on the 29th, and so I'm probably gonna be light up for a little while. So, so catch a few for the pot, maybe even bottle up some. I never actually uh, snared there. A bit of snow last night. Nothing in that one. Uh, I never really planned on making another rabbit snaring video, but uh, I had some people asking, you know, about the rabbit head. Uh, how do I uh, clean the rabbit head? And so I said, okay, yeah, well, I got to, I'm putting the snares out anyway, or I got them out. And so so I'll just take the camera along and show a couple of catches, and then uh, uh, I'll show you how I clean the head to cook. Now, just... Down right here, I already I passed the rabbit right here and weighing through there, so. So, I got one right here. They never run real good last night, but look at that. Beautiful rabbit, oh yeah. And I had one earlier, actually, so that's just the second one there now. Well, you know, uh, we had a wonderful trip into St. John's, but but I'm glad to be back now, and I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get that snare off. I'm gonna have to, I'm wait, I'm wait. And you know, I, uh, I had to make a run out there to Bay Roberts and on the way back, you know, in some of the gas stations and even in St. John's, uh, I run into quite a few people that just recognized me from YouTube here and had a few great chats. There you go. Look at that beautiful rabbit. Now I got this one reset here and uh, yeah, I couldn't do it on the go a bit because uh, you know, uh, after the operation, I, 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 I'm not really sure how long I'm gonna be light up for, but it's gonna be a few days for sure and I'll probably no more after the pre-op. So so anyway, just eat and enjoying it, uh, you know, well I can. Well, look at this, Merton tracks. And he went right, well he either went under or through that rabbit snare there. The snare's tipped up, so he probably went under on there, huh? Oh boy, that was a close one. And just look at this right here. I don't see the trap from that Merton box. I only got two traps out. And the trap is, I don't see the trap. So let's go over and uh, see what's going on here. That track right there. Oh, look at that. Not bad at all, two traps out. And I was actually uh, to this trap here yesterday, was nothing in it, and not too far from here, a Merton went uh, through my, went under my rabbit snare, so, so maybe that could be, that could be the culprit right there. Yes, sir. Look at that. That's awesome. First catch of the year. I don't expect many. I only got two traps out yet, but, but that's good. Yeah, the bait is still there. That's a cartridge. Uh that I used, I showed in a previous video, and it was nice and mild, and I got the, got the Merton in the trap, no trouble at all. Well, I uh, I took some footage of cleaning the rabbit head, but uh, the way the, the camera angle was and whatnot, uh, never never come out good, so I'm gonna reshoot that part. And lucky enough, I got a rabbit here, <laughs> so I'm gonna take this one back, and he's he's not froze very hard, so I'll probably go back and uh, and uh, do that now uh, the ones uh, hopefully we'll get another one all the same got a couple more to check yeah so we're gonna clean these in the house so the first thing we're gonna just spray some water over them stop the fur from going everywhere and also uh, wash some of them fleas off and get them cut up in the fur there and the first thing i do is i cut the, the front paws and the ears off Gosh, that one was a little. This is the, the ears here, so just cut them off tight to the skull. And this is important because the main part of this video is just show you how I clean this head. 
Now, since I mostly wants to show you how I cleaned uh, the headed rabbit, I already cleaned the uh, the rabbit down so far as the uh, skin down as far as the front legs. So one one front leg down and just hollow dot over. That's why I cut them off. Makes it much easier. And I just this is the head here. So I just haul back and lots of times, you know, where the where the snares around the neck, the fur will bust clear, and if he's froze a little bit as well. So so I just try to haul back and get as so much of the fur off as I can, and I usually just Buses off kind of like that. So, so what I do right here, this is the eyelid right here. And I just trim the eye around the eye like that. So make sure there's no fur left around there like that. And then skin right on down around his snout. Like that there. You gotta be really careful in the corner of his mouth there, like get all the Fur and lips off. <laughs> like that there. Just turn it over now and just do the other side. And his eyelids. Just trying to do it so you can see it there and then just get on his snout in and like a, you see it a little better and just. So, like I said, be really careful around the corner of his mouth. Right there, no? maybe even a little bit left there now. So, just take some knife, just snip with your fingers. Trim that off there like that. And some people uh, say the eyes are the best part, but I remove the eyes. And when, I'm, when I remove the eye, be kind of careful. I, I want to take the eye, but not all the fat that's left in the behind the eye. So, I'm just going to make sure. I Nip the eye out there like that there. You can see, see that fat? Leave all that in there, that's really tasty. Same thing on the other side. Like that. And if you like the eyes, just leave them there. In them. And make sure get all the skin around the corner of his mouth. Like that. And you could check his mouth, you know, depending on what they're feeding on, make sure there's no feed or any of these his milk and usually there's a bit of like the esophagus left there and I just reach in and nip that and tear that off with my fingers like that and that's pretty much it and also the same uh Ronnie's you know when I cut his ears off earlier but usually I clean it up a bit around these eardrums cuts a little closer to the skull like that Eardrum, get there. Yeah, you know, just washing over, and uh, you got a rabbit head ready to cook. Two more uh, ready for the pot, and I'll just go over some of the things to uh, look out for. Uh, just want to make sure that uh, you know there's no eyelids left on there. And, no fur around, especially around the corner of the mouth there like that, in front of the nose. And the ears is cut nice and tight to the skull like that then. And just wash it over well and check his mouth, make sure there's no nothing in there that's what he's eating. And also take out the esophagus there. But uh, yeah, and you wash it over and then you got a nice good head ready to cook. And you know, there's a lot of tasty parts to the head. And if you want to, you can leave the eyes in there as well. But I, I, I remove the eyes. And you know, if I was out last or in a survival challenge or whatever, but I, I, I leave the eyes in there and I wouldn't even trim off the mouth or and that too much either. I just eat all that, right? Uh, you know, you're only going to catch so many animals, so the more you could get of that animal you can get in your gut, the better. <laughs>
And before I go, I want to wish everyone a very happy Advent. And we got the Christmas tree up here in the gazebo, but I got the Advent tree up in the shade and we got the Advent tree up in the house. You know, I must say, we really enjoy our holidays. And just look at this. Tonight for snacks, we're going to enjoy some smoked char. And this right here was given to me from a fellow from uh, Makovic, uh, Larry Penny. When we were uh, snow crab fishing down there, all the whelks that came up in the crab pots, uh, we kept them uh, for him. He really likes them, and he gives us back some smoked fish. A great trade, in my opinion. And right here, next door neighbors give me this uh, smoke char here, and this is smoked with whiskey barrel chips. And I'm uh, too excited, job to talk, because I never tried, never tried whiskey barrel chips before. So I say this is going to be delicious as well. So now. I'm going to give this whiskey barrel flavor a try here now. Oh, smells good. Look at that. Ooh, what a beautiful looking fish. It just looks really tasty as well, you know? Here we go, just uh Just a little sample here. Open up. Open up, I said. Very nice, very nice. Jeff, Josh, thanks a million. Really appreciate it. That is tasty. Oh. Nicely cured. Excellent flavor. Oh, marish. Very marish. Look, I'm gonna put that one side here now and wait till the, the wife gets out there. And we got some cream cheese and stuff there. It's gonna be nice. I guess that's it for this one though, guys. <laughs> wait a second. You know I couldn't go without testing Larry's fish too. Oh, it smells great. And I was gonna say, you know, I mentioned in the video that I uh, got my operation on the 29th, but it's changed to the 6th of December now. Ah, oh, same thing. It smells fantastic. Mmm. I tell you, hard to beat the, the old-fashioned uh, blackberry bush as well, you know. We are in for a hell of a treat tonight, guys. Mm-mm-mm. If I eat one of them flays, would the wife know? Hmm. I guess that's it for this one though guys I really appreciate y'all watching take care all the best from the big land <laughs>